What's up MFers, this is Brian here. We're gonna to talk to you about our new PSI Pro compressors and how to use them. This video works for the 10.6 and the 5.6 compressors. Come on in, we'll show you how it's done. Step one is to connect your batteries. Go ahead and start with your negative terminal and then go to your positive so you don't have any arc outs. Make sure that your vehicle is turned on. Our compressors use a lot of power and will kill your battery if it's not running. Next step, go ahead and hook up your compressor to your kit and open up the slide valve in the upwards open position. Your gauge on your kit and your compressor should be reading with about two PSI of each other of what's in the tires. Next up, we're going to go ahead and select our desired PSI. We're going to use the plus and minus buttons. I'm going to go ahead and select 35 PSI by using the plus buttons. Once I'm there, I'll use the power button to confirm that number then press it one more time to start the compressor. If I want to stop at any point, I can hit that power button again and it will stop the compressor where it's at. During the process of airing up, your compressor is going to turn off and on multiple times. What it's doing during that is learning what the PSI in the tires is, so it knows how much more work it needs to do to complete the process. You'll know your compressor is all done when the desired PSI is displayed on the screen and it stops turning back on. You'll also see that on the kit gauge itself that you'll be just about two PSI off between each other and that's totally expected. Thanks again for tuning in for today's video. If you have any questions or comments, concerns, or warranty questions as well, Hit us up on our email, our phone number, our Instagrams. You can use the bat signal. We respond to a whoo, whatever it is. Get in touch with us and we will take care of you.